In this video, we're going to compare fractions with the same denominator by reasoning about their size. That means we're going to think about how much space each of these fractions represents and then determine which of the two fractions is greater. Now, each of these fractions has the same denominator, which means that comparing will actually be a little bit easier. And the reason is, when two fractions have the same denominator, that means that those fractions are both cut into the same number of equal pieces. So we can represent them a lot easier. Let's start with the first one, 1 fourth and 3 fourths. If we're representing 1 fourth in this circle, that means that we would shade in 1 out of 4 equal pieces. If we're representing 3 fourths, we would shade in 3 of the 4 equal pieces. And there it's easy to see that 3 fourths takes up more space than 1 fourth, therefore it is greater. 2 fifths and 4 fifths is the next one. Let's start by saying, well, let's shade in 2 fifths here. Now, if we're to shade in 4 fifths, that would be 4 out of the 5 equal pieces, and as you can see, that represents a greater amount. 5 sixths and 1 sixths. Just using what we know, I can already tell that if I shade 5 out of 6 equal pieces in, let's see if we could break this into 6 real quick here, if I shade 5 out of 6 equal pieces, that's going to be a whole lot more than 1 out of 6, making it greater. And 2 thirds versus 1 third, well, 2 out of 3 pieces takes up more space than just 1 out of 3, therefore 2 thirds is greater. When you have two fractions that you're comparing and their denominator is the same, whatever numerator is greater will be the greater fraction because you are splitting the two fractions into an equal number of pieces whichever one has a greater numerator will have more space taken up and therefore it will be a greater fraction